Now to the tragedy today for one of the country's most prominent families. Richard Rockefeller's plane crashed on takeoff near Westchester County Airport this morning. Rockefeller, the pilot, and the plane's only occupant was killed. CBS 2's John Slattery with the story now from Purchase. It happened in an instant and took the life of a man from a prominent American family. The crash occurred just after 8 this morning after Dr. Richard Rockefeller, 65, took off in his own plane. Shortly after takeoff, the FAA control tower notified airport operations that the aircraft was missing. The plane, a Piper Meridian, a single-engine turboprop, is equipped to carry a pilot and five passengers. The sole occupant and pilot is Dr. Richard Rockefeller. Uh, he flew in yesterday for the birthday of his father, uh, David Rockefeller, who turned 99 yesterday. The plane en route to Portland, Maine in heavy fog apparently clipped trees just after takeoff and crashed at a stable about a half mile away, narrowly missing a home. The weather at the time was a quarter mile visibility and an indefinite 200-foot ceiling. Those are poor conditions which require an instrument rating which airport officials say Rockefeller had. The plane did hit uh, several pine trees on the way down and we're fortunate that there was no fire. Rockefeller was a son of David Rockefeller, the banker and philanthropist. Richard was a nephew of former Vice President Nelson Rockefeller and great-grandson of John D. Rockefeller. Richard Rockefeller was a physician with Doctors Without Borders and was on the board of Rockefeller University. He lived in Falmouth, Maine. Any pilot will tell you it's more dangerous taking off than landing. In Purchase, New York, John Slattery, CBS 2 News. And Richard Rockefeller was married and had two grown children.